All right, it is Sunday evening and you're watching this video, uh, but I'm recording this about uh, about 45 minutes after the market closed. On Friday the 2nd of February, the market got absolutely killed today, and that's obviously long, long overdue, down over 600 points. And I'm going to show you something, uh, a strategy that doesn't happen a whole lot in a bull market, but when it does, it's typically a pretty good a strategy, uh, you know, to trade, of course, okay? This is the SSO. I like the SSO. It is the, as you can see, it's the ProShares Ultra S&P 500. And what I see, what I look for is when that two-bar RSI closes below 10, and I can see that near the end of the, uh, near the uh, close of the market, I will have a market on closed buy order. Okay, so essentially what I did, I had a MOC, right? MOC stands for market on close. As I'm monitoring this five to 10 minutes before the market closes, I can see that the two bar RSI right in here clo is closing below 10. In fact, it closed at $2.59, uh, right? We know that under 10, negative 10, under 10 is a very bullish, well, not bullish, but it's an area in which you'd be looking to enter the market. Now, if you look back, now, of course, we've been in an extreme uh, bull market for over a year now, right? So let's just go back and just, just show you what I'm talking about, okay? Now, look, we're, uh, you'll agree that we've been trading above these moving averages for quite a while, right? Starting in here, right? The bars are green. Right, and that's my own proprietary software that I use. When the bars are green, trend is up. You want to buy the dips. Very simple. Okay. So when you get this scenario, each time the two bar RSI closes, it's got to close below ten. That's when you would be buying it. Either well, I like to buy it on the close because a lot of times when you get that extreme reading, the next day gaps higher. Okay. So since uh, October, November right of 2016 we've been extremely bullish of course right look at each time the two bar closed at or below 10 I'm circling them here as you can see those were really really good times to enter the market right right here right here right on it right here right here and then look at today now of course the market since here since the last time right here the market pretty much went parabolic I think you'll all agree right definitely parabolic big time okay but take a look at each one of these red circles here pretty good timing tool right so this is how I do it I step in a third of my position okay a third typically Okay, so which means today or February 2nd, right, when I'm recording this, my first entry will be right here, right? If Monday we close below 10 again, I'll buy my second. So I'll do three times, okay? And I'm simply going to wait for that RSI to close back above 50 to 60 before exiting that trade. So really it's a dynamic stop. Does that make sense? So take a look at this chart and what, what we're looking to do here, right? So if you take a look, and again, I urge you to go back on your charts and take a look at that tuba RSI and see when the RSI actually closed below 10, what type of entry that was, okay? What type, let's see, what do I have? I don't have it here. So does that make sense? Let's take a look at this. So again, right here, right right here nice entries again above the moving averages green candles I mean, look at that nice entry there beautiful entry there and the first time in quite a long time the last time we got an RSI a tuba RSI close below 10 was November 15th and look at that price that close on the SSO 
was $100.46. We ran as high as $125.72. Not bad, okay? So again, that is the strategy. That's what I'm looking to do. So I urge you to take a look at this. Go back on your charts. In fact, look at any of the indices, okay? Um, look at the NASDAQ. Look at the Dow. Look at the Russell. You know, the major ETF indices this works beautifully on. All right, it's mean reverting, okay? I mean, the market's going to snap, and it'll revert. So it's coming down, and this is I like this trade. So hopefully I hope everyone had a great weekend, and we'll be back to trading tomorrow. If you've got any questions, let me know. Bye for now.